This morning we have a very, very special guest, Mike Fisher, with us. Nashville Predators, how are you, sir? Doing great. Good Doing to great. see you. You too. So you welcome, too. Boots and Hearts, man, back up in Canada. How's that feel for you? Good. Yeah, it's good to be here. I was here uh, for a couple days last year, and uh, I spoke a little bit. Um, no Duck Dynasty as far as speaking, but uh, it was uh, it was fun, fun to be a part of. And I caught you know the Rascal Flats and Van Perry last night, and then uh, you know obviously saw you know Willie and Jace this morning, which was an incredible, incredible. Uh, you know, time they had and, and a great, great turnout. And it was, it was awesome. Well, something like a gospel brunch. Now, what's that mean for you? In this setting where it's, it's not a Christian festival, it's, it's, you know, country music and an outreach like this for people that maybe are a little, you know, unchurched and, and an outreach like that, especially bringing in, you know, Willie and Jace is incredible. And they really brought, uh, you know, some humor and, you know, some down to earth and, and uh, you know, great message. And obviously the, the gospel they spoke and, um, you know, that's the heart of what Boots and Hearts is and sure. and uh, an important element, the most important really. And, and uh, that was uh, awesome today, really. Now, have you always been a country music fan or? Yeah, I, I love country. Uh, you know, growing up in Peterborough, I always listened to, to 105 there and, and uh, yeah, I, I've always liked country, so. You're in sort of a, an entertainment type of a business. Your wife is, in, is involved in an entertainment business. Uh, how's that all played out? Well, it's, and Willie and Jace kind of touched on it, is not as much being impacted by, by that world, but you trying to impact the world. And, and uh, it hasn't really, I kind of, you know, playing, you know, hockey early in the NHL at 19, I kind of was phased in a little bit and learned and grew and, um, you know, matured in my faith. And, um, then I've been married, you know, to Carrie for three years, and that's a different world. But at the same time, we're we're down to earth. We're we don't really um, we don't live in L.A. or New York, which is a little different than say Nashville. And we have some great friends and great people around us that are able to encourage us in our faith and uh, our families. And so we got a lot of great people around us, you know. And and I think that's important, and that you stay grounded and realize that we're that's part of our ministry is being in that world and trying to be a light within our marriage and individually and, and you know professionally so sure so within the celebrity community like how does that how does your faith play out um well i'm not a preacher by any means but i think um just people know that that i am a christian um you know, I make it known, and I'm proud to be, you know, a, a believer. And um, if I can encourage people, or just the way that Carrie and I interact with people, or our marriage, and you know, I think in interviews and things like that, there's there's ways that hopefully we're a little bit different. We're we, um, you know, Christ is first in our lives, and hopefully with it, that's portrayed and the way we treat people and in a lot of different ways but I think just living it is the most important and then um, proclaiming it in the right way and and uh, that's what we we try to do and we're not perfect I'm not perfect by any means but definitely know that um, you know Christ is is the answer and, and definitely important in our lives and and hopefully people see that and are you know attracted to it and, and can make an influence on on anyone so. excellent well great thank you so much man yeah. for your time really appreciate it thanks for having thanks me for I appreciate it good thank to see you, you.